Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install MovieZoo. Uh, I'll tell you where you can go to find the installer, what kind of specifications your PC needs to run it, how to create an account on our website. I'll also then take you through the installation process, how you run MovieZoo for the first time, and finally point out some useful areas where you can go and find help. This tutorial has been classed as easy, because all you really need to do is watch and listen. So the place to start is on our website moviezoo.com. Um, if you found this uh, video, you've, chances are you've already found our website. Nevertheless, the first thing we need to do is create an account and for that we go here and uh, join MovieZoo. Okay, I'm going to fill this in. Uh, we've got two types of account, a regular account, that's probably the one you want, or the gatekeeper account is one that you would set up if you were a teacher in charge of youngsters in a classroom or a youth group or anything like that. Anyway, I want a regular account. I'm going to fill in some of the stuff with my details, which you're not going to get to see. Um, let's, I'll hit pause while I do all this. Okay, filled in all my details. We then need to do the um, security code. Just type in what you see. I believe it's case sensitive, so you have to get your capital letters correct. Tick the legal box and press register. So our website has uh, sent me an activation code um, to the email address that I just gave them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go and get that activation code and uh, plug it into this field. Okay, I've received the email and I can copy and paste in here and all that remains is complete registration. Now at this stage I can pick a photograph or an image to accompany my uh, profile but this is just a demo so I'm going to leave it with the default setting. Okay, so I've created an account, I've logged in. Let's go to Download Movies right here. This will take you to the download page. Now the first thing I'd like you to read are the system requirements. You need a fairly decent PC to run Movies. It doesn't have to be super high end, but it uh it has to be capable of running the Unreal 3 game engine. So have a read through these specs and some of the accompanying text. We've got instructions on how you can run it on a PC or using something like Bootcamp to run it on a Mac as well. Also on this page, uh, we've got some FAQs um, about installing MovieZoo and also a helpful button that will take you to some of our keyboard shortcuts. Also in the text, you'll find a link to these video tutorials. And finally, at the bottom of the screen, you'll find two download buttons. And um, these are for either the 32 or 64-bit versions of Windows. Now, I happen to know that I'm running 32-bit version of Windows, so I'm going to click on this. And you can see that it started downloading. Now, it's got one hour left. I don't expect you to sit and watch this tutorial for that amount of time. So what I'm going to do is pause this video. Once it's downloaded, I'll show you how to install it. Okay, that's us gone. I've, I've had a cup of tea. And um, let's just get rid of this. MovieZoo's left this little setup program on my desktop. To install it, it's quite easy. Simply double click. Now MovieZoo it needs to install itself. And it needs to install two or three other little pieces of software in the background to bring your graphics capability up to speed. Okay, here it goes. Some legal jargon that you have to agree to. Uh, it's going to ask you for the uh, destination folder. That might look a little different if you're on a 64-bit machine, but uh, it looks okay to me. I'm going to hit next. Now these are the two or three little programs that it also needs to install as well. You should have all of these ticked. Um, don't ask me what they do. I know that this middle one to do with your graphics, uh, your graphics capability. These other two, I suppose a programmer could tell you, but uh, all you need to know is that you need all three ticked. And finally, just hit finish, and it's going to go away for uh, I don't know about 10-15 minutes and start installing all those uh, software. Again, I'm going to pause the video and unpause it when anything interesting comes up. Okay, I'll unpause it right here because. Um, what MovieZoo has done is it spent the first uh, three quarters of the process installing the core uh, core engine and the core tech and then we start getting little pop-ups for all those other boxes that you ticked. First one being DirectX. I'm going to have to accept that and hit next. And hit next again. Let's pause it because this can take a couple of minutes as well. Okay, so we're watching here as the uh, DirectX installs itself on my PC. And after this is complete, 
it's going to pop up another uh, verification window to ask me if I want to install another one of those components that I ticked right at the start of the process. Finished with that. MovieZoo kicks off again. We get more little boxes popping up. And I'll hit pause at this point. Okay, so after a few mo moments, uh, MovieZoo finishes its installation and I'm going to press, press close here. So, okay, first, uh, the first mistake I made was telling you that there would be more pop-ups. In fact, what happened was those three components that I had ticked at the start of the installation process, the installer discovered that I didn't need them at all. I was up to date, so we didn't get pop-ups. If you're, uh, those portions are not up to date on your PC, then I'm sure you'll get a couple more pop-ups. Just press yes or OK to anything that pops up. Okay, so that's installed MovieZoo. I'm not recording the portion of the screen that shows you my start menu, but what it has done is, in all programs, it's created a little MovieZoo folder, which I'll go and find, and then I'll press um, MovieZoo. In fact, what it's done is it's installed um, a few things. It's installed a few things. It's installed MovieZoo, and it's installed our video joiner. And the video joiner is a little separate um, application which lets you bolt and edit little AVI files together. There's a video tutorial covering the uh, joiner much later on. But I've asked MovieZoo to run, so this is it running for the first time. You get all the legal stuff, all the places we've spent the money, and eventually the application will run. And this is where you need to dive into all the other video lessons and tutorials to find out how MovieZoo works. In the first instance, all I'm going to do is show you where you can go to find help We've got a really active user community, there's forums on our website, there's um, some documentation, it's not brilliant, but there's some documentation that ships uh, with MovieZoo, and uh, there's also some helpful email addresses that you can find uh, online too, which you can send your, your requests and your feature wishes too. Okay, there's MovieZoo running, let's just pull it in, I'll resize it so that it fits in my recording video. So we got a welcome message, that's pretty cool. It says, uh, welcome to MovieZoo, blah, blah, blah. You can go and watch the rest of the video tutorials with this link. Um, I don't need to do it because we've not recorded them yet. And in the new scene window, um, I'm just going to clear this because I don't want to create a new scene. We'll get into that later on. What I do want to do is tell you that the question mark up here takes you to our help menu. Let's just, let's just pull that down so you can see it. Our help menu pops up. Uh, where you can see the welcome screen and find the video tutorials again, keyboard shortcuts, more video tutorials, the forum, and some uh, legal and system requirements in the About page. Also, don't forget that back on our website, right at the top, you can go to a uh, forum where we've got loads and loads of posts, people who have got questions to ask and things that they've found out. We've got news items, you know, and tutorials all accessible through moviezoo.com. And that's how you find, install and run MovieZoo for the first time.